Hi, in this video I will show you how to set up a DHCP server on a Cisco router. I will use GNS3 to show you how to do that. Uh, I have two routers that will work as my client. I know that in GNS3 you can use your own PC or you can create and, and uh, put some virtual PCs, but it's much easier to use a router uh, for, for this situation that I will show you how. And uh, of course we have our router 1, which will be our DHCP server. Okay, and all these devices are connected to a switch. Okay, we will start on the client 1. What we will do... Uh, yeah. What we will do, we will disable routing on this router because uh, it will be a client only and uh, under the interface uh, we will put uh, one command uh, that will allow this client to get an IP address from, uh, sorry, from, uh, from the DCP uh, server. Okay, so Routing is disabled. IP address DHCP. This command will enable DHCP client on this interface and this router will try and get an IP address from a DHCP server. And of course no shutdown. As we can see, this interface is up and uh, it will try and use a DHCP server to get an IP address. Let's do the same on client 2. Okay, we have both clients set up in the right way. Now we will go to our DCP server and we will set it up in a way that it will uh, it will give an IP address to client one and an IP address to client two. The way to do that uh, on a Cisco router is a little strange because we create a pool first. And then we have to exclude some IP addresses, but this is to be done under in global configuration mode. Okay, so first of all, let's start and create a DHCP pool. Okay, so let's call it pool one. Okay, and uh, uh, here we have to specify a few things that our clients will need. Okay, so first of all, we have to specify what is the network, yeah? So what is the, the range, uh, the pool of IP addresses that we want to use? Let's say it will be 192.168.100.0 and uh, we will assign this interface 192.168.100.1, okay? Uh, here we can use uh, site notation, that's really cool, okay? So, unfortunately, that's what I mentioned, we cannot specify a range of IP addresses here. That's what you can do on a Microsoft server. For instance, in Microsoft server, you can specify a range of IP addresses. The way Cisco decided to, uh, to design this feature uh, is a little a little different. So you specify a network, and then you can, if you want, you can exclude a range of IP addresses. But this has to be done from the global configuration mode, and we'll do it in a in a sec. Uh, so it's not a problem. 
Uh, all right, so we have our uh, network. The next that we should specify really is a DNS server. Uh, in this situation, let's assume that it, this is our router. Okay, very important. We have to specify a default gateway. We do it by typing default router. And of course, it's 100.1. Okay, then we can specify our lease time. Okay, so this will tell the client that this IP address is valid for, let's say, seven days. Okay, type show run and see it in the running config. Here we are. Okay, so we have our pool, pool one, with network, DNS server, default gateway, and uh, a lease time. Okay, good. What we wanted to do, we wanted to exclude some IP addresses. Why? Well, uh, in most companies, in most situations, you will need some static IP addresses for your servers, for your printers, access points, and so on. Uh, so it is good to exclude a range of IP addresses. The way to do, that, do it on a Cisco router is IPDCP excluded address. And then you specify the first and the last IP address. So we are creating a range to exclude. Okay, so let's say in the last, I like to do it that way. So I have 18 IP addresses to use for my devices like printers, servers, and so on. It's more than enough for a small and medium sized company. Right. The last thing to do is to go under the interface and assign an IP address. Bring it up. Right. So, the way to verify that is very simple. We type show IP DHCP binding okay and this command will show us what IP addresses were assigned to our host okay as you can see one IP address was uh, was given to one of the clients you should see the second one in a, in a few seconds in a moment now okay let's type show CDP neighbor make sure that we can see oh well, we cannot see client one so let's take a quick look more troubleshooting show IP interface brief okay zero zero up up okay yeah here we are twenty one okay so we can see both uh, clients and uh, we should see two IP addresses, okay? So, it was enough to wait a few seconds more, okay? Just in case we try and ping. And 21. Thank you very much.